Worthen of CTV with Adam Hinchwood, head of Chelmsford at home in the National League South. Adam, uh, just looking back on this previous week, yesterday we found out we've got a bye in the Sussex Senior Cup as uh, Lewis have pulled out. Your thoughts on that? How much of a plus is it to have one game off the fixture list? Um, yeah, it is. It's been an opportunity to have a look at one or two other players. Um, you know, we've got a good squad like we spoke about Saturday. Um, it's sort of been a chance for them to get some good minutes against good opposition. But... Um, yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, it's out of our out of our hands that one. Um, so, not got too much to to, to say on it. Um, just move on and, and focus on our next game. The next game is Saturday against Chelmsford in the league. It's a bit of a high in the table affair now. What are you expecting from from Chelmsford in this one? No, obviously you know real strong physical side with with some some good talent, um, and good individuals, um, and a good side. Uh, I don't think you get to be where they are in the league and pick up the points that they picked up with without being a good side. So, real tough, tough challenge uh, ahead of us. But um, yeah, I like to think that we'll go into it with a bit of confidence. Um, lots of our recent performances have been good, um, and we just got to try and maintain that and um, get a little bit better defensively. If we can add the two, then we know you know it'll be a tough game for them as well. Yeah, the recent performances and even the results now have been been really strong coming into this one. Does that give a little bit of a lift to the the whole team going into a game like this? Yeah, definitely it should do. And these are the kind of games you want to be playing in. Um, you know, playing against um, good sides at the top end uh, of the table, and it's something that we've become accustomed to and used to. And you know, we really enjoy it and really relish it. So, got to look forward to it. It's good to get a couple of wins at home now. Um, you know, still that Saturday at three o'clock um, in the league eludes us. So, yeah, we want to try and put that right. Um, but yeah, like I say, we focus focus on our, our performance. Um, we try and work on one or two things. We analyse one or two things tonight and um, try and be a bit better if we can Saturday. The Saturday, um, talk about that curse there. But it was a Saturday win last weekend in the uh, FA Trophy. So it's definitely something to be built on. Yeah, definitely. Uh, back-to-back wins against two good op- uh, teams um, from this level. Um, so, yeah, we've got to be pleased with with the results. Um, like I say, performance-wise, really good. I thought the first 20 against Weymouth, we didn't really match them. Um, and we're going to have to have to do that Saturday. We have to come out the, the traps and, and start sharp and really you know, show all sides of our game. We've been brilliant in possession, I think, the last couple of games, but out of possession, we've got to be um, a lot stronger. It's going to be a big physical side um, that want to put their stamp on the game. So, yeah, we've got to be uh, aware of that and, and relish that, that, that battle on that side of the game. And that sort of area of the game is sort of won and lost in the midfield quite a lot, and the two new additions to the midfield over the last month in uh, Dabre and Josh as well, how much of a boost is they, are they going to be in this one? No, certainly, um, certainly will. You know, I think they've both been excellent since they come in. Um, obviously, Josh has had a few more runouts than than what Mo has, but you know, in, in both the games Mo's played, I think show what he's all about. He's energetic, and I think you know, just the, the balance between the three of them, and they seem to complement each other well. And they're getting through. Uh, you know, their running stats is good. So the hard working players, all three of them. Um, and I think that's really important. It's going to be vital uh, in this game on Saturday as well. Kate, one of the more experienced members of the side, and like you say about his running stats, it's it's unbelievable his work rate. That's got to be a really big thing to have with two young players like him either side of them. No, definitely, definitely. Um, thinks you know sometimes uh, he can do too much running, Kane at times, but you know that enthusiasm between the three of them. Um, you know, one thing you know they're going to do is leave everything out there on the pitch, all three of them, um, and. Yeah, I think it's infectious that that kind of work rate. Um, you know, if you've got a midfield three that are, are working as hard as what they are, and um, you know, the the forward players and the fullbacks can only respond to that as well. So, yes, it's, it seems to have um, been a good good balance so far. Um, yeah, we want to try and um, maintain that if we can, and um, yeah, hoping for similar performance from all three of them uh, on Saturday as well. Big squad and a lot of big performances across uh, the squad so far. Um, obviously, in the last couple of weeks, Ruben Austin was one of those. He was out on Tuesday night with illness, as was Ollie Pierce. What are the status of those two? No, yeah, we'll, we'll assess them both both tonight. Um, pretty sure, you know, 
Ollie's was just like a sickness bug, so hoping he'll be able to have a good run out tonight and um, we'll see where he is. But uh, Ruben was a bit more uh, tonsillitis so that he's had a while, so might be a bit longer to recover from that one. But yeah, both of them will analyse tonight, see where they are, um, get some good minutes into them both. And um, yeah, like I say, it's a good squad at the moment. And um, you know, unfortunate if you miss out for injury and the team do well. You know, it's just the nature of the beast and being part of a, a good squad and, and, and a big club um, that someone can come and take your place if you give up your shirt and through no fault of their own, them to come out the side and others have done well. So, yeah, we'll have to have to analyse them tonight and see where they are and, and same with the, the entire squad, really. Um, you know, it was a big ask Saturday, Tuesday for the first time in a while. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how everybody's shaping up, uh, but I'm sure we'll have a good squad to choose from come Saturday. Beresford was one of the ones who came back in that time and obviously got a, got a goal as well, a rare goal for him as well. It must be a big boost to have him back in the squad and maybe a little bit frustrating for Ruben to have that spot taken again. No, yeah, um, like I say, but that's you know what, being part of a, a good squad and, and a good club, um, that's what you want. You want those sort of selection problems and uh, yeah, if we know Fort his own, he's, he's given up his shirt for JB and he's come in and done well and scored. So that's just how it goes. You might have to be patient and um, wait for your opportunity. Um, but that's the ups and downs of, of football. Um, you know, Dan Bowery come on the other day and, and done excellently when he come on and been training really well. Um, and, you know, he's having to be patient because Luca, Joe Ryan and Aaron are all doing well in front of him at the moment. So, um, yeah, one thing I do like to give players opportunities um, and then it's down to them to, to go and take them. Um, and I think, um, you know, that's um, always going to be the way when you're at a, a big club and um, a competition for places is, is what you need. It's been a big squad and a lot of talent in it and you talk about opportunities there. Uh, potentially an opportunity for Mo, for Mo Jammer and Adam Adam. Uh, you spoke about them potentially going out on loan on Tuesday night. What's the status for those two guys? Oh, yeah, I think they're both trained with um, the club, so Mo Jam are probably going to get some minutes at Lansing, probably look at a month or so and um, we'll analyse it, see where we are. But another you know, young player, a young prospect, um, that's that's done well. But you know, the level we're at now is hard to to blood, um, you know, young players and young prospects week in, week out, you know, they need to go and get game time. And um, the same with Adam's gone to immerse them um, with Peter there. I know Peter well, so I'm sure he'd do really well for them there. Um, get some game time. Um, he hasn't had a run of consecutive 90 minutes at men's football yet. Um, you know, he's 19 or 18, going to be 19. Um, so he just needs that, just needs to learn the game a little bit and get that run of, of experience under their belt, the pair of them, but both highly regarded players at the club and uh, real prospects for the club moving forward. Yeah, a lot of raw talent in those two and fingers crossed a bit of extra minutes to do them some good. Uh, and just going into finally, just um, looking ahead to Saturday and the fact it's been a run of home games and we've got the World Cup, no, uh, no Premier League football on, how good would it be to get a big crowd there on Saturday? No, yeah, be... Excellent, um, you know, fourth versus fifth, uh, National League South, um, right on the doorstep. Hopefully, people come out and, and want to see it. And you know, it's, uh, I would question the entertainment value at the start of the season, but I definitely think the last two games has has provided that. Um, you know, it's been real entertaining games um, to come and watch, and you know, I think we bring a, a style of football that. that Certainly, I've enjoyed watching the last couple of games. So, yeah, hopefully we get a, a big crowd and they like what they see and, and want to come back and um, we can get a few more new people coming through through the gate in, in this period. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough times as well coming up to Christmas. Um, you know, it comes at a bit of a price as well. But um, hopefully, um, you know, we can see a nice big crowd.